Who are you? Oh, Mrs. Martha, I'm Anthony. I spoke to you on the phone about the sale. Well, you can come in as long as you want to talk about the price that was mentioned on the phone. The agent might have mentioned it. That's why I'm here to talk about it. The price seems a bit unfair. What is? Please think about it. I mean, this place is worth 50,000. Give or take 60 at his max. 100,000 pounds is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Well, you don't have to be concerned. I'm not selling it to you. I didn't say I didn't want it. Can we just sit down and talk about it? Okay, come in. When it comes to negotiating, there's always bargaining. No, to I don't bargain. Okay. I'll take it for the price you're asking for. But I just want to understand why I'm paying such a huge amount for something that's not worth it. Okay. Do you want a drink? Okay. Can I make a phone call meanwhile? Okay. His name is Gus. I was never a good mother since his dad passed away. Two more to drink. Reasons to fight with him, I suppose. I tried correcting him, but he was adamant. I don't want it. I never did. And I knew he'd be back one day. Who? That maniac who shot him in cold blood. But, but you haven't seen him, have you? Only one person would know that 500,000 is still in this house. And they'd agree to buy the house for that money. Hmm. <laughs> I knew you'd be back one day. You are smart for your age, aren't you? Why don't you call the cops? The phone's just right there. You wouldn't allow me to go to there, will you? <laughs> you are smart, Mrs Martha. But I'd have thought you'd have called the cops before you told me that story. But Anthony, I told you all this after you'd finished your drink. You spoke the drink. <coughs> Enough to kill you. <coughs> oh, that's worked.